Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. Back in the year 2012, I got All India Rank 6 in AIPMT and All India Rank 10 in AIMS. And in this video, I wanted to share with you what was my schedule like in the last 3 to 4 months before the exam. Uh, because I genuinely believe that uh, in the AIATS on the coaching test that I used to give, I used to get an All India Rank around 50 to 100. But towards the last 3 months, when the final push to the revision came, I was able to excel in th that particular phase of my preparation and propel my rank from a, you know, a maybe a top 100 rank to a top 10 rank in every exam I gave. So what were the things things that I did. The first thing that I did, slightly controversial, but important nonetheless, is I, towards the end of the preparation, I stopped wasting my time in giving the the test series of the coaching because it was not NCRT based and hence it was not helping my preparation. I rather focused on giving mocks or giving previous year papers which were more NCRT based rather than giving the coaching test. The second thing, during these t this time, I was at my productive best. I used to study 12 to 14 hours on a daily basis, sometimes even more. And I'll sh uh, share what my schedule used to be like so that you can also plan accordingly or it can help you uh, guide or it can help in, uh, you also uh, make a similar schedule. So let's say 24 hours are in a day, six to seven hours, never compromised on my sleep, sleeping, one to two hours of, uh, you know, normal, uh, you're uh, taking a bath, brushing, things like that, and along with some amount of enjoyment, be it TV, be it uh, Wikipedia, listen, uh, were reading some book, I read this book called Mice and Men at that point of time. But the thing is that you have to give it all in the three months and you can actually propel your rank. Let's say you're thinking that you might get, be getting 600 right now, 550 right now. It's very easy in the last three months to propel that score a bit more, in the uh, plus 50 or plus 100, if you dedicate yourself towards the preparation. So this is my schedule, what my schedule used to be like, but only follow it if it, uh, you know, fits you as well. So I was always a night owl. For me, the most, uh, what I'll say, the most productive time of the day was during the night, from 12 o'clock in the night to 6 o'clock in the night, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. So during this time, since it was the most productive time and I was at, at my, you know, productive best, at my thinking best, I used to do physics or chemistry. And I divide, used to divide it in such a way that 50% of the time used to be spent reading the theory or the, uh, understanding the theory or, you know, understanding, uh, reading an NCRT or uh, reading my notes or reading my coaching notes or reading the modules or whatever it is as far as physics and chemistry is concerned. Mm. And towards the end, 50% of the time was just spent solving M MCQs. The amount of time spent solving MCQs and practicing questions increased as, you know, from inorganic to organic to physical, if that's being considered or physics is being considered. Because inorganic is obviously much more theory, while physical and organic requires you to keep on practicing question. After that, from six o'clock, I used to do NCRT one chapter or whatever, two chapters, read the chapter NCRT for one and two hours, and then again, practice MCQs for one and a half to two hours. Never ever stopped practicing MCQs. Read the theory, I'm MCQ. Do not move on to another topic till the time you have practiced MCQs on that particular topic. And finally, towards the end of the day, I used to give, especially during the time like I have told in my previous video, how to subconsciously prepare, when the exam is going to be there, 10 o'clock to one o'clock, during that time, I used to give one full syllabus test, a previous year MCQ based, like, you know, previous year AIPMT, that, especially AIPMT, because obviously AIPMT is going to be the precursor, uh, the main test that we were focusing upon uh, in that three hour window. So I sometimes used to give full syllabus test, like, you know, physics, chemistry, biology, pura pura de diya, syllabus to kar liya tha by February and by February I had done the syllabus once they said at least. Or sometimes I used to give tests like, you know, ki mene physics, jo mene physics padi us din aur mene biology padi, to physics or biology ko combine karke us particular ek year ka mene test de diya. So I used to do things like that. And I think this thing is very important, I've already told you practicing a full syllabus test as much as possible or at least a full syllabus bio test or a full syllabus physics test or these two things combined is very important. In that particular sense, I'll recommend a book for this uh, scenario and that is this uh, a book by Educart. Previous, it, uh, it has 30 fully solved NEET papers from all the way going from 2002 to 2021. So the, uh, the reason I'm recommending this book is I think it's the only book in the market which has such a wide range, such a, a high number of 30 papers of need together compiled in one book. The second reason I'm recommending this book is, is that, that it's not just papers or those answers. Every, every paper has a detailed solution given with it, which you can use it to revise your theory and improve your understanding of the concept. The, the solutions given are uh, in a very 
simple and clear manner the solutions are ncert based and obviously they will help you in improving the the uh, help you in improving your uh, you know marks and understanding and conceptual learning of that particular topic so my recommendation if you want to solve questions would be this book especially because of the fact that it has 30 neat papers including papers from 2002 to 2008 the aipmt time jab aipmt hota tha so definitely the uh, go and consider buying this book so let's come back to the uh, schedule then one o'clock many exam dekhe main so jada tha seven o'clock my mom used to come back and then she used to wake me up tab main ek ghanta baith ke apne jo questions hain unke mein jo maine mistakes ki hoti thi unko unke concepts ko revise kar raha hota tha so this is the another reason i'll say ki this book is good because at my point of time there was never a book jo usme usse na answers likhe hote the so i myself had to figure out ki how to is type what was the concept of this question and things like that and uh, uh, and uh, how what where where what questions i got wrong and what were the concepts that i was lacking so the good thing the really good thing is there are the simple solutions uh, amazing good solutions are given in the book after the test so revision of the topics and uh, revising those topics will become easier so the simple schedule used to be 6 hours i am dedicating to physics or chemistry in which half the time is spent learning about the theory learning about the concept and half the time time is spent practicing mcqs the amount of mcqs practice increases if there is let's say i'm doing physical chemistry or organic chemistry uh, rather than inorganic same for physics physics maybe only 15 to 20 to 30% of time will be spent revising the theory or mcqs uh, revising the theory or uh, you know the modules and things like that more time 60 to 70% of the time will be spent practicing mcqs biology ncert padho mcq solve karo again 50 50% time bio mein thoda theory ko zyada time because obviously Uh, it's a much more theory oriented subject and then one full mock agar full mock bhi nahi deta tha to partial mock ki bio pura se sab subject ka de diya one hour one hour mein physics plus bio pura de diya 2 ghante mein and things like that and towards the end started giving full full syllabus previous year question like i said towards the end i felt that my coaching is not giving ncert based test so i stopped giving it maine kaha bhad mein jayega doesn't really matter now one thing i definitely think why i was able to improve my rank and improve my score uh, so in akash i used to back back then 800 marks paper hota tha i used to score around uh, 700 or something like that 700 730 and things like that and aibmt mains was 480 that would result in my actual score in aibmt being let's assume 420 430 uh, uh, and something like that but my actual score was 457 the reason i was able to increase this 30 marks in a 480 ka paper was because i think towards the end my revision became much 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 more focused it became much much more focused on ncert it became much 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 more focused on solving only previous year questions which were ncert based and much much more focused on doing much much more mcqs and slowly reducing the time spent doing theory like i said pehle been and making sure that i'm doing everything every day ki roz ek bar physics plus biology kar raha hu ya physics plus uh, sorry chemistry plus biology kar raha hu roz thoda portion maine biology roz apni revise ki because biology obviously is 50% of the syllabus to biology kuch to roz karni hai hi a lot of people tend to make this mistake ki na kahan bio hum kar lenge manage ha kar lo are you getting 360 out of 3 uh, 360 in biology or let's say if not 360 more than 340 is the easiest subject to score and still people tend to falter in it sometimes and i think that's the biggest blunder that you can do because through do ncert say to yaar 90% of the 95% of the questions are going to come so if you are getting anything less than 313 in biology that is nine, let's say 95% uh then it's a blunder that you are committing on your part improve your biology also keep on doing biology also but physics and chemistry bhi karni hai because nahi to selection hi nahi hone wala and physics and chemistry ke like i said more focus on at this point of time focusing on solving questions rather than trying to read about the theory and questions ko make karke mistake karke unki revision ko solve karo right and focus on doing ek din roz din ke 2 se 3 ghante laga ke ek full syllabus test karna hai agar pura bhi nahi kar sakte to at least full syllabus biology ya full syllabus physics ya full syllabus chemistry karke dekho and like i said in that particular regard you can consider buying this book it has past past 20 years and past 30 neat papers so we're sort of the biology ka section of physics ka section and then doing the solution from this and it will help you improve the concepts i mean definitely i'll say that uh, the reason i was able to improve was because over the time my practice went on keeping going up and my theory practice kept on going down and i think other people made the mistake ki towards the end lo kya kar rahe hote hain ye bhi pad leta hu main ye bhi pad leta hu main ye bhi dekh leta hu wo apna theory badhate rehte hain and practice karna thoda kam kar dete hain 
उल्टा करना है जैसे जैसे तुम्हारा एग्जाम पास में आएगा लेसे द एग्जाम इज ऑन नॉट अज्यूम एग्जाम इज ऑन जुलाई ऑफ सेवेंटीन आई एल से इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई यू शुड जस्ट बी प्रैक्टिसिंग एम सी क्यूज हो गई जितनी थ्योरी तुमने करनी थी एम सी क्यूज करने के बाद उससे रिलेटेड थ्योरी पढ़नी है नॉट द अदर वे राउंड ओके अभी फिर भी तुम कर सकते हो कि थ्योरी पढ़ी एंड देन एम सी क्यू सॉल्व किए टूडे राइट नाउ इट्स अप्रिल राइट नाउ बट लेटर यू शुड जस्ट फोकस ऑन गेटिंग द एम सी क्यूज राइट एस्पेशली द पास टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईयर्स गेटिंग क्वेश्चन सॉल्विंग गेटिंग इन टू द हैबिट ऑफ सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन पेपर्स राइट सो दिस यूज टू बी माई शेड्यूल डेली सिक्स आवर्स ऑफ फिजिक्स और केमिस्ट्री मोर एम सी क्यूज देन फोर आवर्स ऑफ बायोलॉजी मोर एम सी क्यूज देन सॉल्विंग वन पेपर दिस शेड्यूल I think can help anyone for that matter of fact, and then after obviously giving one to two hours in revising my mistakes. At the same point of time, I made sure that I'm not monotonous. The life is not monotonous. एक डेढ़ घंटा खुद के enjoyment के लिए रोज देता था मैं. Used to read a book like I said, Mice and Men. एक एक TV का episode रोज देखता था. Big Bang Theory used to come on Star Wars at that point of time, which I used to watch. And that's about it. And thodi was browsing the internet, Wikipedia, because I'm a curious. I'm a quite good at browsing things like that. And I th- thought it will help in AIMS exam because at that time AIMS ke exam used to be there, and twenty used to twenty questions used to come from general knowledge. So this is the schedule that propelled my rank from let's say I probably would have gotten a one fifty or two hundred rank, but ended up making sure that I got get a top ten rank, be it rank six in AIMT, be it rank five in JIPMER, or be it rank ten in AIMS. In every exam I gave, I got a top ten rank. So. this is my schedule thank you and have a nice day focus on ncrt